channel all about BI. Uh, this is going to be a quick video on new SQL activity. It's kind of a for your information session. So what is this new SQL activity? Uh, when do we uh, need to use it or how do we need to use it? So that is what I'm going to tell you today. So the first thing that uh, we want to know is what is this new SQL activity? It's nothing but as you can see uh, uSQL is nothing but it's going to be uh, some sort of SQL query that we are going to write. So why do we need to write the SQL query or what do we uh, need to do with the SQL query is you are going to do data analytics on the data present in the files over ADLS. Okay. You have certain files in Azure Data Lake uh, um, storage and you have a big data basically. Okay, for example, you are going to capture a sensor data, a temperature sensor or motion sensor or whatever sensor it is. So every second it's going to get updated and uh, the file will be huge as such. Okay, and it resides in your data lake storage and you want to do some analytics on top of the uh, file that you have it uh, in your data lake storage. Okay, so um, having said that, right, uSQL activity enables you to write query based on C Sharp and SQL and you can write uh, very easy uh, queries to um, do the analytics. Okay, you need not create any data factory, you need not create any pipeline, you don't need any uh, data transformation using um, data flow or you need not go to data bricks you can simply write a um, SQL query kind of to do the analytics for you okay and after doing the analytics you can write the result to one more file in the same data lake storage okay so this is a high level about your SQL activity it, it helps you perform analytics on data files present in your data lake storage all right so what do you need in order to use this activity is the first thing that we need to use is uh, Azure data analytics account okay as your data analytics account so this data analytics account is the first thing that we need to create in order to use the sql activity use sql activity okay but um, this data lake account needs a gen 1 data lake storage account okay so whenever you want to create a data lake account it will ask for gen 1 data lake storage account okay but after i i think uh, around june or uh, july 2021 we are not supposed to create or we are not allowed to create any gen 1 based data lake storage okay we cannot create gen 1 data lake storage because it's going to be obsolete in the 2020 year 2024 okay so they are not encouraging us to use um, azure data lake storage gen 1 and we are supposed to use gen 2 okay so this is the first constraint when we want to um, newly create a gen 1 account we will not be able to create it right now so when we are not able to create it right now how can we associate it with a data analytics account we cannot okay when we cannot create something how can we associate with some other thing? Thing, right so that is the first con constraint that we have now and you can ask uh, whether we can associate uh, data lake gen 2 account with the data lake uh, data analytics account no uh, it is also not supported because uh, data lake analytics is not uh, being taken care by microsoft right now they are not providing any support or they want us to migrate to a different uh, solution okay um, they are not no more concentrating on data lake analytics okay this is the thing that i came across today just wanted to show you what people are saying okay data lake uh, analytics is not supported on gen 2 today okay it was around the feb 2021 okay given we are not uh, given we are not investing in adla we do recommend customers migrate adla to an alternate framework such as ht inside synapse analytics or databricks okay mm, so data analytics can be done in any format or uh, using any platform right now we are not uh, encouraged to use data lake analytics using usql okay because we are not uh, um, able to create gen 1 account and associating that gen 1 account with data lake analytics is uh, not possible so uh, there is no alternate basically okay that's what i wanted to highlight in the session if you are going for an interview or if you want to know something about uh, use equal activity this could be um, helpful for you okay that's all uh, um, for me with the session uh, thanks a lot for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel i request you to do so thank you so much